get these guys to stop. Ouch, he actually bit me. So anyway, Wildlife Command Center is responding to a, um, a property that's being sold and they've got snakes and this is black snake breeding season. And uh, so we're just going to go around and look and find all the black snakes that we possibly can. And there's always plenty of them around, especially with the sun coming. Uh, it's afternoon and it's uh, this wall right here is getting some sun. It looks like somebody was trying to make a uh, make a run for it or climbing the wall to get some sun. I'm not sure which way, but anyway, <clears throat> this is a black rat snake. Uh, appears to be a pretty big female black rat snake. I would say she's about four and a half feet long. These snakes are not typical biters. They, uh, they don't typically try to bite. And a lot of times if you just close in and let them know that you're not gonna hurt them, you can basically just pick them up off the wall without, without them doing too much. Anyway, this is a pretty nice specimen of a snake. I'd say it's probably about three or four years old at least. Uh, definitely is a female. You can always tell because this is where the eggs come out right here. And then on a male, this space right here is about this long for a snake this big, but this is relatively short and abrupt tail right there. Um, so she's probably gonna lay eggs whenever she is, she's bred, but I don't think she's eaten enough young birds yet. Anyway, we'll go around and look to see uh, how many more of these we can find. And of course they like to hide underneath stuff like this. And whenever you, what we call flipping, you always want to be careful and flip so that you shield yourself. Just in case what you flip is something that's venomous. And if you pull the, pull the flip up towards you like this, you kind of got a shield between you and then. And then of course, whatever you're flipping, you definitely don't want to drop it on the snakes because when they crawl underneath there, they found the voids. But when you drop this, you may crush the snake and we don't want to hurt the snakes. So usually just be careful. And we definitely got two, two of them in here. Pick them up together and they won't feel as threatened as a whole. So as you can see, there's one head there. Somewhere in here is another head. Oh, there it is. So there's the other head there. Black rat snakes, <clears throat> best thing for uh, rodent control because these guys eat a ton of rodents. Uh, they eat mice and small rats. They eat moles and moles. They'll actually go straight down the tunnel of a, a mole or a vole and chase the, uh, chase the rodents down their tunnels. And then capture them and swallow them whole. This time of the year, they eat a lot of young birds. And they'll go in and wipe out whole nests, especially starlings, because starlings will have four to six young in a nest. And starlings are an invasive species. And these guys help us control starlings because they'll climb up a structure They'll climb all the way up a structure, find a starling nest, and eat all of the young starlings out of the nest. And then that prepares the females to lay eggs, which they'll be laying eggs here within a month. And uh, normally the eggs start hatching around the August, early September time, time frame. 
Well, we're gonna look around and see if we can find uh, more snakes in this location. A lot of times these old industrial places, one of the things you gotta watch out for is, you know, you're looking for a snake, but then you got, oh wait, there's, oh wait, that's not a snake. Or you step on something, you go, ah! You never know, but <clears throat> it's easy to really get these guys to stop. Ouch, he actually didn't. So like I said, they never bite, right? So usually if you stop them like this, let them close their mouth first. But even when they do bite, you know, they don't hurt. See, you can put your finger right in his mouth. See? So I guess I shouldn't say they never bite. How about they rarely bite? Maybe that would be a little, a little better than never bite. There we go, a ball of garter snakes. Looks like two females and two males. The females are always like twice as like twice the size of the males, even when they get older. So we're gonna find a different place for these to live. Somewhere that's not in the middle of the city. So I would say that this is a pretty successful uh, snake removal. This building over here uh, is being sold and it's got this abandoned parking lot. When they were doing an initial walkthrough on it, uh, they saw some snakes. And so the owner asked us to come in and pull as many snakes out as we possibly could. Now we are in practically downtown St. Louis. I mean, there's the exchange for uh, Cary Avenue right there. So we're just a, not even two miles from the arches. And this is what we've captured. We've got two black rat snakes it appears to be a male and a female. And then we've uh, also, we captured a little decay snake, but he was so little that he actually climbed out of the holes and disappeared somewhere. And then we've got four garter snakes on this property. So we're gonna take all these snakes out to the country somewhere near a Creek where there's lots of food. Um, I'd like to find a place that's near a creek where people can't get to that maybe is on the edge of an agricultural uh, field like corn or wheat or something of that nature. So there'll be plenty of insects for these guys to eat and plenty of rodents for the black rat snakes to eat. So another successful job with Wildlife Land Center, the snake capture.